Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Paige, here once again with another video for you guys. It's another play review we're doing today, so it's from this team of the week, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. So the player that we are reviewing today is second in form, Gilfie Sigurdsson. So he's at center attacking mid this time. I've converted, uh, converted him to a C, uh, center forward due to the uh, fact that he wasn't really good at center attacking mid. So after my first game, I converted him to center forward and continued on uh, reviewing him from there. Uh, but one thing I want to get into when we look into his stats right now, it says that we've played four games with only three goals and one assist as a result. Well, I disconnected from two of those games. So two of those games, the goals within those games didn't count. So I scored a goal and an assist in one game that didn't count and also four goals in the last game, which didn't count as well. So in the first game, we only got one assist and nothing else at center attacking mid. So that's why I converted him to a center forward. And then uh, the second game we played, we got a hat-trick, which was a stunning hat-trick. Couldn't believe what was going on there. So, um, yeah, let's get into his in-game stats. So, anyway, in-game, Gilfie Sigurdsson has 81 ball control, 92 curve, 98 free kick accuracy, 94 long shots, 90 penalties. Those are some of his standout stats. 97 shot power, and we got 83 volley, which is okay. In regards to his uh, physical attributes, his standout is probably... His reactions, apart from that, everything else is pretty average, and he's got decent vision. Uh, but apart from that, his main ads, his standout stats are his skills, like long shots, free kick accuracy, and uh, uh, what was it? Uh, his shot power as well. So anyway, what are my final thoughts on Gilfie Sigurdsson, second in form? at a center attacking mid. Well, anyway, he's pros. He has an amazing shot, as you would expect with 86 shot. His crosses are damn good. They just swing in, and whoever... If you've got a target man like Wilfred Bonny or someone tall like Ben Teke or something like that, they will header it in 99% of the time. And his passing is pretty decent. So, seeing it's only 79 passing at a center attacking mid, it is pretty, uh, pretty accurate. His cons, though, he is a clumsy oaf. He is pretty clumsy. And uh, he does get knocked off the ball, and sometimes he just doesn't even do anything. Weak foot, it's shocking. Even though it's a three-star weak foot, it does feel like a two-star or one-star. Just get it on his right foot, because if it's on his right foot, it'll probably go in. It's got to be on target, at least. And with the shot power, it should go in. Um, I faced a few freakish goalies that managed to save a few of his shots. And his work rates, uh, medium, medium. I wish it was medium low, because he does just stand there half the time, just not doing anything. And you sort of have to do that one-two pass, just so he'll run up, uh, run up field and set him up for a goal. So anyway, guys, that's the end of this review. If you leave a like, it would be very much appreciated. Leave any comments. Have you used him? If you have, to, uh, leave your uh, opinions in the comment section below. And if you're new in here, make sure to subscribe for more player reviews and awesome FIFA videos. And uh, I'll do another player review. I don't know which one. It'll probably be that striker, Pabon. Pabon? Pa uh, something like that. Who looks like a... Uh, who'll be a cheap uh, beast, I guess you could say. But anyway, guys, until the next video, I'll catch you later. Goodbye.